This rather odd looking structure is an appendix testis. An alternative term for appendix testis is hydatid of morgagni. These are extremely common lesions and present on around 90% of testes at least. They are a remnant of the malarian duct and are situated at the superior pole of the epididymis. They may be round, oval, sessile or pedunculated and the usual size is 2 to 4 millimetres. Histologically they are covered by a cuboidal or low columnar epithelium that is focally ciliated and the epithelium is in continuation with the tunica vaginalis at the base of the appendix testis. The fibrovascular stroma is rather loose and there are sometimes tubular inclusions. The problem with the appendix testis is that it may twist and if this happens there is hemorrhagic infarction and inflammation and the lesion becomes enlarged and congested and is extremely painful and in fact it is the commonest cause of an acutely painful scrotum in children. This is a low power view of a torted appendix testis and of course if the stalk of the appendix testis is narrow it will be susceptible to being twisted resulting in hemorrhagic infarction. The normal size of the appendix testis is 2 to 4 millimetres, but if the appendix testis becomes twisted, then it can enlarge with the congestion and edema and inflammation to a size up to around 1 centimetre. And here you can see hemorrhage, infarction, and acute inflammation. This is the typical epithelium covering the appendix testis and here it is low columnar and focally ciliated. 